Do you want to be better prepared to take care of yourself and the people you care about in an emergency? Personal Defense Network can help. They have an offer for the viewers of the Firearm Guy channel. Go.PersonalDefenseNetwork.com backslash Firearm Guy. Sign up for a Personal Defense Network premium membership and get a full year for only $2. That's 98% off the normal price. Check out the link in the pinned comment. Premium membership gives you access to hundreds of full-length videos led by expert instructors in their field. Topics include emergency medical techniques, armed and unarmed defense, firearm training, security techniques, and tactics for your home or workplace, defensive gear, and much more. Sign up for Personal Defense Network Premium Membership now for just $2 for the entire year with the link in the pinned comment. Taurus GX4 XL. Taurus GX3 XL. Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're going to do a comparison with two handguns made by Taurus that had existing models, but they lengthened the barrel with each and it doesn't end there. A lot of people ask, hey, what are the differences between the GX4 XL versus the G3 XL? So we're going to get into it today because albeit a little similar, there are differences. You consider the price. Some of the features, the trigger, the weight difference, loaded each with 13 rounds, what they offer. And that is what we're going to get into today. Now, both these are fairly new. So let's get into it. We're gonna hop over to the table, talk about these, and you can decide because there is also a price difference. Let's get into it. Here we have the Taurus G3 XL and the Taurus GX4 XL. Let's start with the G3 XL. They have a four inch barrel, which mimics the full size G3, except the lower, the whole assembly here is like the G3C. So if you like the ergonomics of the G3C, you're going to get that with this handgun. It comes with two 12 round magazines and the MSRP is 343. So basically what this is, is a combination between the full size G3 and the subcompact G3C, with the lower being G3C. It still has that same G3 trigger with a little additional real estate in there, makes it nice. I think they did a good job with that. Single action trigger pull measures right at four and a quarter pounds with the reset right there. This offers restrike capability. And a lot of people like that. They say, you know, that's pretty cool. Serrated black rear sights pinned in front dot. It has forward serrations loaded 30 ounces with 13 rounds. Now this will come in a cardboard box with the paperwork, a lock, the bags, everything else. And the only reason I mentioned that is because the GX4 XL comes in a hard case. So that's something worth considering. But the overall impressions are very similar to the G3C or the G3, depending. You know, it's a combination of both, so it would stand to reason that they are similar. This was released in February of 2022, and a lot of people took notice. They said, you know what, I like that. Longer barrel, 4-inch barrel, opposed to the 3.2-inch barrel with the G3C has a sight hole indicator right there and overall a nice feel. You'll notice it has an indentation there for the off hand thumb and indentation right there. Overall, very nice pistol. Taurus did a nice job with it and a lot of people were excited. Right. Here we have the Taurus GX4 XL. I think this gained as much excitement as the G3 XL when it was launched just recently, beginning of the month. But you look, the, the grip's a little different. The mag hangs down a little bit. That's because it ships with a 12 and 13 round mag. So I'm giving the advantage there. If we look at the trigger guards, similar, a little different how this comes down just a little bit more than the G3 XL. You're going to notice that the trigger is different. It has a flat trigger there. Also trigger bar safety in there, but the flat trigger, it breaks a little heavier. You're looking at about five and a quarter pounds, but 
when one shooting you can hardly notice i think the reset's a little bit shorter still has that sight hole indicator 3.7 inch barrel also has forward serrations i like the ergos on this a little bit better if you look at the stippling with both they work yeah I, I, it's not a, a deal breaker but I, I like the way the gx4xl feels it is really nice it also has serrated black rear sight pinned in front dot overall i think it's great it has a stippling right there okay opposed to the indentation no big deal this has a rail for a light this does not both these are available optic ready all right now as you can see i didn't get the optic ready models perhaps i should have but i didn't and if we look at the slide length you'll see that the g3 xl on the left is quite a bit longer we look at the grip similar width similar length overall i think doors did a nice job with both of these the msrp on this is 429 and if you go with the toro model taurus optic ready option all right you're looking at 30 bucks more 459 so the gx4 xl is more expensive the question is is it worth it to you now i mentioned with 13 rounds this is 30 ounces even loaded this is 26 and three quarters ounces with 13 rounds so it's a little bit lighter a little easier to carry not by much but it is a little easier to carry Both the G3 XL and the GX4 XL passed the lip wrist test. I have old footage of that, so let's take a look. As I mentioned, both these handguns are similar, but different, and it will depend on what you're looking for. Is the G3XL a little too heavy for carry? A couple ounces lighter with the GX4XL, or have you shot both and, and have a shooting preference? I really don't. You know, I, I think they both fire great. I think they, they both are, are very accurate. The longer barrel length makes a difference, but they're different. You know, do you go with the flat trigger without the restrike capability or the single action trigger that does have the restrike capabilities? Does the barrel length make a difference with the G3 XL being a bit longer? Or how about the price? The GX4 XL is $87 more according to the MSRP. So is that gonna make a difference? It certainly will reflect that at your local gun store. I wanna give you my thoughts. I have quite a bit of experience with each already. I'm fine with each, but the G3C and the G3 series are great handguns. I have just about all of them and I think they're, they're phenomenal. But in this comparison, that $87 to me is a price worth paying. I like that flat trigger. I like the, the 11 and 13 round mags. I like the overall feel a little more compact and the gx4 is just doing it for me i think it's a fine handgun and so is this one but in my estimation if i had to give up one it would be the g3 xl and i would stick with the gx4 if you like videos like this please subscribe and share i always appreciate thumbs up button thanks for watching and you guys be safe